What's up guys, welcome back to What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence. My name is Aaron, and if it's your first time seeing one of my videos, I'd like to welcome you to my channel where I do music reviews on albums and EPs and singles. We just chill and talk about all the things that we love or hate. And if you happen to be interested in metal music, something that goes a little bit deeper than Metallica and Slayer and Black Sabbath. Not that I don't love those bands, but I go a little bit deeper in subgenres like deathcore and metalcore and technical death metal, things like that. I'd like to encourage you to subscribe and ring the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on any of my future stuff and just help support me and my channel. And if you have anything you want me to review, new or old or whatever, leave a comment below letting me know what it is and I will make it happen for you. But for today's review, we're going to be checking out the new album Costalum by the band Slaughter to Prevail. Kostolom is the second studio album from the Russian deathcore band since 2015, Kostolom meaning bone breaker or bone crusher. And I really do appreciate what this band does. They basically set out to be the heaviest thing that they could possibly be, and they usually achieve it just about every single time. Their vocalist, Alex Terrible, is phenomenal. He's got some great vocal covers on Instagram and YouTube, just a lot of fun. And that's one thing I really enjoy about him as well, is he's just... He's very playful, doesn't take himself too seriously, so I try not to take Slaughter to Prevail too seriously, but at the same time, they are, they're coming up. They're becoming more and more popular, and I wouldn't really consider them to be a satire band like a lot of people do, like Infant Annihilator just tries to be as extreme as possible, and it's, it, it's kind of a satire kind of thing for them. They're not, they don't do uh, live shows or anything like that, while Slaughter to Prevail I mean, they're starting to tour more, they're starting to get out there more, they're producing way more serious music videos, and they're just starting to take themselves more seriously. So if you consider them to be a satire band, I definitely would not anymore. The album opens up with what I guess would be the title track. It's called Bone Breaker. It comes in with a very dynamic riff with a nice little melody playing in the background. I'm not a big fan of the vocal performance, specifically in the verses. The clean vocals just... They come off kind of awkward, and I gotta admit the lyrics are uninspiring as well. The outro slash breakdown thing is probably the best breakdown on the entire album, but it's still lacking, and it is still very, very generic for deathcore. I already did a review on Demolisher and Zavili Abalo. I believe that's how it's pronounced. A Demolisher I reviewed over a year ago, and it is still... One of the heaviest songs I've ever heard, and Alex's vocals are absolutely insane. I gave the song a 3.5 out of 5. It still holds up to that as well. I enjoy the chorus. Just a song all around. It's just a lot of fun. You could put it on. You don't have to pay too much attention to it. It just, it, it's superficial in that sense, but it still works. I wouldn't say it's the best song on the album, but it's definitely, it, it's a phenomenal single to be released to get everybody pumped for the album. And Zavili Abalo is also fantastic. I gave it a 4.1 out of 5. I felt like this song really opens up what this band can do and demonstrates that they're more than just a one-trick pony, which is something I've had an issue with in the past. It gets a little bit more dynamic than normal, and it showed that they could just do more. They could do more than just blast beats and chugs and some dissonance here and there and Alex can do more than just super low vocal growls. Baba Yaga was another single to be released from this album. Uh, it's part of a Slavic folklore. Baba Yaga is one of three supernatural sisters and she's either known for eating children or helping travelers and this is a Slaughter to Prevail song so I would assume it's probably the former. It starts out with a deep vocal growl and some unique guitar sounds and then then St. Drum Work comes in in the verse. Second verse has almost clean vocals which I'm not really a fan of. I'm starting to learn that I'm not really a fan of uh, Alex's clean vocal style and it's a little like limp biscuity dare I say. I, I don't mean to offend anybody when I say that but it does have some incredible music and the drums are also insane and it's not honestly it's not a bad sound. I just don't enjoy it all that much but this is still a solid single. The only single I didn't enjoy was Agony. I believe this song is about taking risks and failing and learning how to push through the agony of that failure. And it's got a slower pace to it while it's still heavy, but it's just not as like pedal to the metal. I'm not a fan of the cleaner vocals again in the verse. Uh, mainly the in-your-face delivery. Again, kind of limp biscuity in a way, just in performance. 
The chorus is good though, and the breakdown is beautiful. It has like a Born of Osiris kind of influence thing to it, and it's easily the best part of this entire song. I also really enjoyed the song You're Only, which starts out with some Russian lyrics in the intro. The clean vocals in the chorus mixed with the distorted is just so good. I didn't really enjoy the clean vocals throughout the rest of the song though, specifically like the verses from the whisper vocals to the heavy breathing labored very dramatic vocals in the verses it just wasn't really there for me but the groovy chorus the vocals in the chorus the big chords in the chorus it just made it stand out so much it's so different from all the other choruses and all their songs on this album it just overshadowed the entire song completely for me i also enjoyed the song i killed a man which also has a mixture of clean and distorted vocals in the verses and even though the lyrics are a little cringy i still was able to look past it. I mean, most of the lyrics on these songs aren't really all that great. The pre-chorus is absolutely nasty. Uh, the chorus has some Russian lyrics to it, and the cleans this time are backing the distorted vocals, which is, I'm starting to learn that I don't really enjoy the cleans when they're isolated and they're by themselves, but when they're mixed with the distorted, or they're just backing the distorted, or they're just not alone they just sound so much better to me and this song really reminds me of like a fit for an autopsy kind of song because of the way how they mix the cleans in with the distorted and the simple outro and the melody throughout the song is fantastic i didn't really like the song made in russia which has some spoken russian lyrics in the intro but other than that the lyrics that you can understand are just silly there's only so many times you can hear alex say shut the f up in a song before you really just you start to get over and you start to sigh. He's very angsty with his lyrics, with stuff like shut the F up, all of you are nothing but retarded, frick. Sorry, I'm not going to say the F word. This is this is a family channel. Uh, even the music is very lackluster compared to what, I mean, we all know what they can do. This song just feels very bare bones with simple chugging patterns, pinched harmonics, which are thrown around every single song, and the drum passage is also just very bland it doesn't evolve whatsoever there's also some songs on here that are in a hundred percent russian for instance ratva i believe that's how it's pronounced uh the song is very fun the music is stompy vocals are phenomenal tons of distortion but it does feel very long and drawn out but like every single every single transition is very explosive and that's another thing that they do a lot on all of these songs every transition is just very big there's another song called Ouroboros. No idea if I'm saying that correctly or not. It's got a suspenseful buildup, blast beats, and the melody is super dope. Uh, it really helps that the melody plays throughout the breakdown and the more chuggy sections just so it doesn't become a little monotonous. The vocals are on fire and the outro has some great atmosphere. It kind of reminds me of like a after the burial kind of thing that they did. Also, Head on a Plate, it sounds like a continuation of Ouroboros. Just because of the melody that pops up like every once in a while, it's a little bit more vocal driven and there's more vocal variety in the song, which I enjoyed a lot. And I loved the build up going into the breakdown and the solo mixed with the drum work, which sounds like machine gun fire. It's just, these songs are all really good. The only one I didn't really enjoy that much was probably Bratva, just because it was it just was overly too simple there wasn't really a whole lot going on and it's just very it feels so long and drawn out the closing track father has some great vocals in the intro but then the music that comes in is kind of predictable i mean that's going to happen after listening to the first 11 songs on this album the verses have some great pacing though vocally and musically which helps out a lot and when he yells father in the chorus it's just so emotional and so passionate you could really feel all that in his vocal performance throughout this entire song and the same vocal tone carries into the second verse and it's just it's so freaking good the bridge is basically a build up into the breakdown which again is predictable but you don't even really care just because you can really feel the emotion and the passion in this song and again the pacing is fantastic it's a perfect closing track for this album and honestly this is probably my favorite song on this album as well i really really enjoy in Costlone, but it does come with some downfalls even though the vocals are phenomenal and the drum work is a selling point on almost every single song it's all very uh formulaic and instead of being like a one trick pony they kind of just turned into like a two trick pony 
There's tons of triplets and quadruplets throughout this entire album. Almost every single thing is like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it's very, just becomes old. Everything kind of sounds like something you've already heard before. And that every transition is explosive. And I don't mean explosive with energy. I mean, in like the production and the sound, everything comes in and it hits really hard. It's kind of blown out sounding in a way. And also all the song structures are very much the same. They don't really evolve. If you're going to hear like the verse, first verse and the second chorus or the, whatever, they all sound basically the same within themselves. Uh, the breakdowns are also all very much the same and predictable. Pinched harmonics are thrown around everywhere in every single song. It's like chug, 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 squeal, chug, 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 squeal, something like that. And same with dissonant riffs. It's just every song kind of sounds the same after a while which is kind of tough on a 12 song album that goes on for almost 50 minutes it just becomes very dreary and dragged out and that's not to say that these songs aren't great if you listen to like two or three of them at a time then yeah you're gonna love it but to sit through like i did and listen to this album several times all the way through it begins to hurt after a little while so with all that said i gotta give costume by slaughter to prevail a seven out of ten and I'm not really super into this style of deathcore. I'm more of a fit for an autopsy, white chapel kind of fella. So I want to know what you guys think, especially if you're fans of Slaughter to Prevail. I want to know what you guys thought of this album. Is it as good as you were hoping? Is it kind of bland and sound like everything else? Kind of the way how I'm feeling. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. I have no clue what I'm talking about. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought and what you would rate it. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. Leave a comment below letting me know what I should review next. If you want to help support me and my channel, you don't want to miss out on any of my future reviews, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. It just helps me out so much. I appreciate it more than you guys could ever imagine. I'm almost to 500 subscribers. I'm like maybe 25 away, give or take, somewhere around there. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was trying to make it rely on my parents' fantasy.